Namaste, Namaskar, Wanakum for all Indians. So I cup to Thai, Xin Chao for Vietnam, and good morning to everybody, and good evening for those who are in other countries. So welcome to. So welcome to yoga apps. So before I start, I would like to tell you a few things that are very, very important in order to get your six packs. We can pause the scene now. So with yoga, you can get six packs. And here I'm going to tell you a few things. Your weight loss or six packs actually don't start with exercise. It should start in the kitchen. That is the first thing, very important. So once you can change that, getting six packs or losing weight is very, very easy. But many people do the other way around. They are exercising a lot, straining their bodies and then but they're not changing the diet or eating a nutritious food, that does not help. So you have to understand there are four major aspects very important in order to get your body tone or get your six packs. Number one, food. Number two, a good quality sleep, very important. Because when you have a good sleep, your body naturally turns into ketones, burning fats, and increases growth hormone, repairs your body. But if you don't sleep properly, you're going to cause damage to your system. And fats, you can't lose fats. So good quality sleep is the second very important. Third, I recommend you all to do intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is well known nowadays everybody doing is very very good is the best way in order to burn fats and give your body some time to repair and renew yourself by the way intermittent fasting will really help burn fats and also it uses excess glycogen and glucose from the liver so that you use it the body uses it so don't think you need to Eat first in order to exercise. It is many people have the psychological issue. They think, oh my God, I can't do it. I need some coffee with sugar, uh, or I need some. I need to eat something in order to exercise. You don't need. Like me right now, I didn't eat anything in the morning. Empty. You can take black coffee if you want. You can take green tea if you want. That's the best thing. And. Don't at all worry, it's just psychological, I'm telling you. Your body has super power. It turns using the glycogen glucose that is already stored in your body as a fuel. So you can exercise, even you can lift weight. You can even do Olympic training fasting. That is the power I'm telling you, get, get leaner faster. So try these methods and have a good quality sleep and exercise. I tell you what are the best exercise quickly this time not enough I need more time so I just briefing it out <laughs> so exercise wise if you really love running go ahead but if you want to burn fats if you want to get the six packs you don't need to run for hours you try heat training high intensity interval training 30 seconds you run super quick super fast one minute you walk like this you can do 10 minutes to 20 minutes it's up to you. 10 minutes is good enough actually. So try that and better than running, you can try cycling. Better than cycling, you try roving. You know, if you have a roving mission, you go to the, you try this. The same way, hit training. 30 seconds you go fast and one minute you go slow. Try that for 10 minutes. But you don't have the roving mission, swimming is the best. Better than swimming is skipping the rope. The best one, another best one is Tibetan box breathing. 
By the way, I have a video on that on the YouTube. You can find it. So that's all. A short one, but more than all this, I'm telling you today. We're going to show you compound exercises using your whole body to work, friends. People wrongly think I have fat here, so I do abdomen exercise, then I can reduce my fat at the abdomen very wrong there is no zone reduction understand that so you have to exercise your whole body to have the fat cell shrink and naturally your abs appear less fat you will find the muscles naturally coming out you don't need to work super hard you need to plan these things food intermittent fasting these are the best and you will feel very energetic you will feel vibrant not only just getting six packs you feel powerful so do all exercises in a fasting state yes happy so you are all ready so here is true view is going to help me and we're going to do non-stop get ready don't go anywhere it's always good to empty your bladder you know and get ready and don't move away from the mat it's very very Healthy is, is a discipline. So please come. Here is view. So she's going to help me and we're going to work on training. But before we start, I would like to start a small invocation mantra thanking the greatest of all sages, Patanjali. Because we believe he is the one who has removed all impurities of the mind and speech from grammar and it's all because of using yoga impurities of the mind and body are through yoga and the speech through grammar and also the body through medicine so he has given us an amazing methods the tools for us so now we take some of the tools to train our abs so let's thank him first you can bring your hands to the heart center and close your eyes Keep your chin down. You can sit or if you are standing, that's fine. But stand tall, feet together. Yogena Chittasya Padena Vacha Malam Sharirasya Cha lung capacity. Interlace, interlace your fingers at the back. Squeeze your shoulders together at the back, chest up like this. Now, big inhale, big inhale, lifting the chest, upper chest up and up, squeezing the shoulder blades and keep lengthening the midsection, the spine, more and more taller, taller, taller. Now hold your breath, gently bring your chin to the breastbone. Hold it. One, two, three, four, and breathe out. Exhale. You can relax the hands at the back like this. Again, big inhale, chest up. And now squeeze your shoulder blades and take your arms slightly back. Don't bend forward. Okay, slightly back like this. And lift up the midsection of the back and chin down, holding breath. One, two, three, four. Five. Let go. Exhale. We go three more. Big inhale. Hold your breath. Now squeeze 
and interlace fingers, stretch them more back away from your body. Now chin touch the breastbone, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, let go, extend. Now we're going to hold for 10 seconds, try, but if you cannot hold, don't worry, just do as much as possible, ready? Big inhale, lift your chest up. Ah, now, take your arms a little more back like this. Squeeze a little higher, away from your body. Don't bend forward. Hold your breath, chin touch the breastbone. For six more seconds. Five, four, three, two, let go. Exhale. One last one. Big inhale. Hold your breath and squeeze. You see the hands like this. Try to take them up, but don't bend forward. And lengthen the midsection of the spine. Chin touch the breastbone, holding breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let go, relax. Okay, let's begin. Now we're going to massage the abdomen. So, relieving back pain also. Now five fingers, place them on the head, just like this. Elbows open to the side like wings. Open up, chin up a bit. Now, as you exhale, as you exhale, you got to create the sound of the throat exhaling. This is Ujjayi breathing. You all know by now. And elbows both touching the knee. One, two, inhale. That's all. Two seconds you hold there. Now, exhale left. One, two. Okay. Inhale. Elbows open. Exhale right. One, two. Inhale. Exhale left. By the way, engage your abs. Inhale. Use the core muscles. Again, exhale. Engage your abs when you bring the knee up. One, two. Inhale, open. Exhale. Squeeze. One, two. Inhale. Exhale, right. One, two. Inhale. Exhale, left. You got to hold with both your elbows, not one. Try both elbows. Okay, inhale, open. Exhale, right, one, two. Inhale, exhale, left. One, two, one more round, finish. Inhale, exhale, squeeze those abs, squeeze those abs. One, two, okay, inhale, left, exhale. One, two, finish. Bring your hands down. Okay, the next one. You've got to bring your elbow opposite like this. So engage your abs whenever you do, like this. Okay? You try to bring your knee over your elbow when you lift and you squeeze those abs. Ready? Let's go. Right. So left elbow to the right knee. Go. One, two. Again. One, two. Open up when you stand tall. Go. One, two. Very good. Go. One, two. Third time. Go. One, two. Go. One, two. Fourth time. Go. One, two. Go. One, two. Fifth time. One, two. And one, two. Opposite. Very good. Enough. Next one. This is for the obliques. Okay. So your, your love handles will be gone. <laughs> okay, when you place your hands here, they will slip away. <laughs> okay, see, watch me. Five fingers, place them on the head. See, the knee more to the side. One, two, you see that? You engage your obliques to do this exercise. Let's go. Five finger, right knee to the right elbow. Go. One, two. Okay, left. One, two. Very good. Right. One, two, very good. Left. One, two. Third time. Go. One, two. Left. One, two. Right. One, two. Good. Left. One, two. Right. One, two. Left. One, two. Last one. Go. One, two. Left. One, two. Yay. Bring your hands down. Now, more trimming your waist, making this work these obliques. Whenever you bend, use the obliques to come back. Don't just throw your body, right? See five fingers here. See, watch me, we show you. Right, left, so bend sidewise, knee. One, 
two, that's it. Right, let's begin. So we start right, five finger, right bend to the side. Now use your obliques, come up, left bend. Use your obliques to stand up. Now knee, touch it. One, that's it. You got it? Now we do left side. Now we go a little quick. Exhale, left. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale up. Left knee. One, two. Good. Now right. Right bend. Right side bend. Left side bend. And knee. Right knee. One, two. Good. Left bend. Right side bend. Left knee. One, two. Very good. Right side bend. Left side bend. Right knee. Left side bend. Right side bend. Knee left. One, two. Right side bend. Left side bend. Right knee. Left side bend. Right side bend. Left knee. Last round. Right. Left. Right. Knee. Okay. Left side, right side, left knee, yay, finish, relax, now we're going to do squat, watch me, I'm going to show you, hinge from the hips and sit back namaste, make sure when you do this, your knees are not over the toes, otherwise by time you hurt your knees, so make sure that, see knees are not over the toes, come up, Watch me. Squeeze those abs and reach the feet. Don't hold it. Just reach it. That's all. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Right. Wait here. One, two. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Left. One, two. It's okay if you lose balance. Again, up. Come back always. One, two. You bend forward. Squeeze those abs. Up left. One, two. Inhale, squat, look front, exhale, right, one, two, inhale, exhale, left, one, two, inhale, exhale, right, one, two, very good, inhale, exhale, left, one, two, inhale, don't stop, exhale, one, two, inhale, exhale, left, one, two, Two. Inhale, exhale right. One, two. Inhale, exhale left. One, two. last one. Finish, last round. Inhale, squat, exhale leg raise. One, two. Inhale, squat, exhale left. One, two. Okay, very good. Stand up. Now, we're going to do one exercise which will strengthen the core and also increase your heart rate. Ready? Walk to the back of the mat. So, watch view, she's going to show. Raise arms up. Bending knees, you reach floor, be happy. Walk your hands to the upper plank. Watch. Right knee to the right elbow, breathe out. Back, left knee to the left elbow. Back, lie down on your belly. And Shalabhasana. So this is for core. You understand something very important. Your abs is only small part of the core. You have to work the whole body. Now place your hands. Now jump to the front or walk to the front of the mat. That's it. You don't want to jump. It's okay. You can walk. Stand up please. Turn. Okay. Now we're going to do six rounds. And you can notice your heart rate increase. Ready? Right, here we go. We do together. I'm fully charged. <laughs> Raise up, begin. Exhale. Walk. One, two, three. Right knee to the elbow. Breathe out. Back. Left knee to the elbow. Breathe out. Lie down on your belly. Shalabhasana. One, two, three. Place your hands. Jump. Stand up. Turn. Raise up. <laughs> down you go. Walk your hands to upper plank. Right knee to the elbow or you can bring it to the armpit is more better. Okay, back. Left knee to the elbow or armpit. And down, lie down. Chalabhasana. One, two, three. Place your head. Jump. Stand up. 
Turn. This is one. Let's go. Bridge. Walk. One, two, three. Upper plank. Right knee to the elbow. Breathe out. Back. Left knee. This is for the core. Okay, lie down. Now back. One, two, three. Please stand. Jump. Stand up. Turn. Raise arms. Down. Walk. Right knee to the elbow. Breathe out. Back. Left knee to the elbow. Lie down. Chalavasana. Boat. One, two, three. Place your hand. Jump. Stand up. Turn. One more round. Raise up. Walk. One, two, three. Upper plank. Right knee to the elbow. Left knee to the elbow. Lie down. One, two, three. Place your hand. Jump. Stand up. Turn. Raise arms. Down we go. Walk. Come on, this is the last round. Upper plank. Right knee to the elbow. Back. Left knee to the left elbow. Back. Lie down. Shalabhasana. One, two, three. Please jump. Stand up. Yes. <laughs> so you can feel your heart rate. That's cardio. That's enough. You don't need to do too much, okay? Now let's wider faces. Okay, wider facing me. Facing me? Yes. Now see, this is very powerful on the obliques. Don't think abdomen exercise is only on the floor. You can stand and work on it. Okay? So here we go. Turn your right feet right side. Okay? Open the hips. Now stretch your arms side like this. Now stretch far. Push the hip left, hip left side. Really far like you want to reach the wall. Now wait here. Now, don't touch the feet, just reach your feet. Okay, now reach the right hand, sorry, your left hand up to the sky. Open up, now wait here. This is stretch. The triangle. You see the triangle poses in yoga are geometrically balanced to the universe. It's not just stretching, understand that. Now wait here. Now we work on the abs because this class is yoga abs. So every asana you can use it to strain your abs. Five fingers place it on the head, both hands. Like that. That's all. Five fingers. Can you stay there? Now open up, open to the side, not to the front, more to the side. Now hold on here. Now can you breathe? Five. Four. You feel that? Three. Now use your obliques. Stand up, come back up. Oh, that's it. Many times people don't use the muscles properly. This one works. Now let's do this side. Okay, arm stretch to the side. Left leg, left side. Turn. Okay, now reach your left hand far away first. Far away. Like you want to reach the wall there. Okay, now bring your hand close to your feet, but don't hold it. Now. You keep the right hand up. Open. Open more to the side, not to the front. Imagine there is a wall at the back and you want to open the back to the wall. So you get your line straight. More to the side. Three. Two. Get ready. Get ready. Five fingers. Place them like this on the head. Stay there. Stay there. Don't come up. Don't come up. Now push your hip front more. Hip more to the front. Chest move back, open, open, open up, long body to the side, don't round your back. Now get ready to use your obliques only to come back up straight, ready, slowly, up, inhale, hey, <laughs> how is that, <laughs> bring your hands down, okay, good, now one more to go, one more, one more to go, turn your right feet right side. Bend your right knee. Make sure your knee is not over the toe. And now, place the elbow like this. Okay, happy? Okay, this is again a nice strength and stretch. Like I mentioned to you, remember, compound exercises. Exercising your whole body burns, shrinks the fat cells and increases muscle density. Okay, ready? Now from here, watch, watch me. Watch us. Your hand, your left hand overhead, wait here, 
Okay, now get ready for a challenge. If you can, go for the next one. This is for the obliques. Five, other hand also overhead. Imagine you're holding a ball in your hand. Now wait here, sink your hip down a bit. Come on, little down, all good. Now just, you're happily holding your ball in your hand, just like that. Okay, keep breathing. So do you feel your abs? <laughs> yes? Yes? Okay, you can say mm. You may not be able to talk. <laughs> you can say mm. Mm. Okay, if you don't feel, you say mm. Okay, two more. Now use the obliques. Sit still, the same pose, only the upper body come back straight like this. That's it. All oh, relax. Finish. Your right knee straight. Now turn left side. Turn left side, left, left knee, bend now. Now, left your left arm, elbow resting on the thigh. Now sit low, sit, sink your hip down a bit. Yes, very good. Now hip forward, don't let it go back, hip front. Now stay here, ready. Now from here, first take your right hand overhead, just easy, huh? no need to straighten up, just easy. This is a stretch first. Now hold on, getting ready for obliques. Five, four, three, two. Now, you bring your left hand overhead. Imagine you're holding a ball in your hand. Okay, hold that. Even the head is like this. And your body more close to your leg, but don't rest on the leg. Close to your left leg. Hold it. Five, four. How do you feel? Mm? Good? Mm? Not good? Mm -mm. <laughs> Stay there. Enjoy it. And slowly pick up the ball. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. And relax. Yeah. Very good. I By now, I'm sure you're sweating. By the way, when you're doing yoga and you sweat, it is detoxing. Not just, just like running. You sweat to cool down your body. But this one is detoxing, burning fats. Toning your muscles, everything happening. Now come to the front of the mat. Yes. Now another vinyasa. Take deep breaths before we start this. This is a little challenging. Deep breaths. And listen to me. I want to tell you something. When you stand straight like this, and when you bend your head down, and if you see your tummy, you would likely have liver, fatty liver. Okay? Don't panic. You can work on it. Yoga has so many answers. But you can also check by going to check with ultrasound. You like it. When you look, you should not see your tummy. <laughs> you should only see your feet. Huh? So, anyway, fatty liver can be gone by cut, you cutting down on the carbs and sugars. Not about fats. You can eat healthy fats, understand that. But you should cut down on the carbs and the fructose, even the fruits, if you're eating too much. They're good, but you can't eat too much. And also the fructose, due to all the fruits and sugars, if you take too much, that is the one causes fatty liver. Even a lean person could have fatty liver. Don't think it's lean. So normally people, lean people think, I can eat anything you want. But they could have also have that. It's not only due to alcohol, it is due to foods that you're eating. Excess carbs, sugars and fructose. Understand that, okay? I covered anyway that, that I bought detoxing liver and another video. We'll share it with you. Let's wider. Let's go. Now, enough break. <laughs> work the body. Now, watch me. Like I mentioned to you, work your legs. Compound exercise is the best. Sit down like this and stretch the arms. Yeah. Please remember this pose. Even you're growing 90 years old, just this pose, you practice. You don't need anybody help you walk. You will be very strong because this increases the bone density. It makes your bones very strong. Please remember this. Sit low, even you can sit for, start with 10 seconds to sit for three minutes to five minutes. Very powerful. But we are not sitting five minutes here. <laughs> Just want to show you. Now from here, sitting tall, open the chest, tailbone down. Don't keep your tailbone like this. No, tailbone down. Okay, now from here, place your hands on the ground. 
And now this is a stretch. This is not a strength. Now you jump or walk, choice is yours, with the legs slightly apart in two planks. Okay, you can keep your right leg right side of the mat, left leg left side of the mat. Okay, now you lie down or give me chaturanga. So up to you. You lie down and come back or you go down close to the floor and come back. Choice is yours. Okay? If you can't do this, lie down. Okay, go. Chaturanga, up. Yes. Now, now you've got to lean onto your right hand. Okay, keep your feet there. No need to move them. Your left feet to the left side of the mat. Right feet to the right side. Good. Hand on the hip. Now watch this. Sink your hip down close to the ground. Now use your obliques to come back up. And yes, no way, stay there. Raising arm up. Look up. Now give me like this two times. Place your hand on the hip. Sink your hip down close to the ground. Use your oblique. Come back up. Oop. Oh, to side plank. Again, one more. Sink. Go up. To side plank. That's it. Okay, come back to up plank, upper plank. Okay, Chaturanga one more time. Oop. Come back up. Yes. Now, turn this side. On your left hand. You don't need to move your feet. If you can keep the feet apart, is fine. Or you want to keep the feet together, choice is yours. Now, hand on the hip. Sink your hip down. Keeping the arm straight. Don't bend the arm. Don't bend the arm. Okay, pick up. Up. Yes. A hand up when you come. Again, hand on the hip, sink your hip down, feel that obliques working, up again, Ooh. yes, again, third time, go, and, Ooh. yes, upper plank, chaturanga, okay, slowly, up dog, uh-huh, that's a small break, see, when you do upward facing dog, you stretch the abdomen, now, can you feel the stretch in the abdomen, can you feel the stretch in the back, can you keep the shoulders down and open the chest forward? Okay, shoulders more down, arms are straight. Good, downward facing dog. Hips go higher. Now I want you to jump to wide leg squat. Jump, come back to the front of the mat. Like this, like this. Ready? Hands in the front. Wait for me. Sit tall, back straight. Wait for me. <laughs> what a beautiful weekend. Oh, super hot in, in Bangkok, but beautiful exercise, lovely place to live. Place your hands down again. Let's go, jump back. Now, come on, little quick we do. Chaturanga, push up, 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 come up. And side plank on your right hand. And righty hand on the hip, sink your hip down, up. Again, sink your hip down, two. Third time, sink your hip down, three. That is for burning the love handles. <laughs> okay, upper plank. Ready? Push up, one more time. Oh, yes. Or lie down, come up, choice is yours. Now the other side. Ready, hand on the hip, sink your hip down. Use your obliques, come up, step, raising the arm up. Again, down, second time. Up. One more. Down, up, in, up. Upper plank, push up. Lie down, up dog. Oh, stretch the stomach, stretch the back, lengthen. You can walk your hands more to the hips to keep up, keep lifting up, lifting up, stretching the muscles. Very important to keep them flexible. Don't get your body rigid and tight. It's not healthy. I see sometimes bodybuilders are very stiff. No, stiffness. It means less oxygen in the muscles. You gotta be soft, but strong and lean. Downward dog. Jump. Legs out. Squat. Wide leg. Hands in the front. Stay here. Ah, oh, we're not giving a break now. Hold on here. Hold on. Sit low, please. Sit low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. This is weekend. Give all you got. After that, have a nice. You give 30 minutes rest to eat anything after this class, understand that. Now, interlace fingers, index finger pointing, look at how uh, Bu is doing here. Now, upper body lean forward like this. Oh, there you go. Really long, watch. Now we're going to do full torso twist, one side first. So you're going to go right side, 
So watch view one time. You can sit down and watch. Look at her. Now see, slowly come to the side. Now both knees straight and slowly. You got to do this slowly. I'm not there. So you got to be careful. Look up and then slowly bending your knees when you come forward and stay here. That's it. Okay, let's do three times only. But please don't rush. I want you to feel the whole stretch in the entire upper body. Go. Right side, slow. Inhale. Now straighten those knees. Arch back as much possible. And slowly move to the left side, exhaling. That is one. Second time. Big inhale. Arch back more. You see her, how she go? Dab, dab, back. And exhale, bending the knee. And forward. Oh, good. One more time. Big. Yes, go, 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 arch back, arch back, arch back, yes, yes, ah, there you go, bend your knee, there you go, wait here for me, wait here, now let's go left side please, left side, slowly take both the hands, interlace fingers, arch back as much possible, both knees straight, then when you come in front, you bend both the knees, second time, go, go, very good, one more to go, last, Third one, slow, 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 don't rush. Arch back. And then slowly bend your knee and slowly stretch out. Now wait here, same position. Sit low, open your knees out. Lengthen the body in the front five, long body. Four, three. Place both hands on the ground, both together, close together. Both knees straight. Now, arms straight. Right hand up to the sky. Look at one, two, three, four, five. Both hands together in the front. Left hand up to the sky. Turn body. One, two, three, four, five. Now hold on there. Now drop the body like this. Loose. Elbows hang loose. If you can touch the elbows, go ahead. If you cannot, that's fine. Now, now, slowly roll up one vertebra by one. One, roll, 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 roll. Yes. Stand up. That's it. Come on, all fours. Yeah. So, if you're really thirsty, you might want to drink a little water. But I recommend you to drink before, 30 minutes before the class, and after the class, you can drink. I mean, right away you can drink after the class. But if you feel, still feel thirsty, sip a bit, not too much. So, are you ready? You need a break? No. You want some water? No. Okay, let's go. Now we're going to do, have you heard about B-boy? <laughs> now you also have a B-boy. So we're going to do that. So we're going to demonstrate. Watch me, I'm going to demonstrate first. See, so you're going to do downward facing dog. So I think you all can see me. Okay, watch me. From the front, I show you easier. You gotta keep your feet together and downward. Step your right leg out. Watch this. So keep the left knee not touching the ground. Now, easy. First, I show you the actual move. Then you, I show the easy option. Kick up. Okay. So you work your arm. You work your thigh. You work your abs. One exercise, three benefits. Go back, down facing dog, and then left leg out, kick up. You see that? And use the arm, use the thigh. Don't sit down, hip up. Like this, come back. But those you cannot do, see, watch. Place, hand, leg like this, wait here, like sitting. Then you stretch that leg. That's all. And practice this way first. Let's go. Downward facing dog, feet together. Hips go higher. Step your right leg outside your right arm. Now keep the left, lifting the right hand off the ground and hand up. Balance here. Now keep that hip up. Hip up and feel the weight on the hand. One, two, three, four, five. Go back. Downward feet together. Let's go. Left leg. Come on. Kick it up. One, two, Three, four, five. Go back. Very good. Again, right leg. 
Then kick your left leg from back to the front, to the side, diagonally. Oh, come on. Bring the child energy within you. Don't think you're old. Go back, downward dog. Fantastic. Now, go left. And kick your right. Kick your right. One, two, three, four, five. Downward. Okay, one more down, one more round. Right. Yes, one. I tell you in our class even we have a 78 years student who can do this. Okay, go back. Downward dog. Left. Go. Keep it up. One, two, three, four, five. Come back. Downward dog. Oh, and sit down, please. That's it. <laughs> sit up. Okay. Just if you don't have much time, you just can do only this exercise. Do a couple of rounds. I'm telling you, your body is ready, energetic. Please understand, yoga always releases stress and increases energy. It don't make you tired. If it's making you tired, the yoga what you're doing is not right. You should not feel that. You should feel very energetic and happier towards the end. So here I'm going to show you a little quick how you do it. You can do it 10, 15 times. From here, right, left, right, left, like that, okay? So try. Now, now, now sit down please. Sit down, legs straight in front. Okay, I think I'm very far. I'll be here for you to see me. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to work the abdomen, both lower and upper abdomen. So watch me first, watch us first. Lie down, five feet, you place it like this. Okay, legs. So by the way, back round. Okay, don't arch your back. It's very dangerous, you're going to hurt your back. So you got to round your back first, very important. And your legs straight. Okay, if you can, you keep the legs, but you should not arch the back. Now see, watch. One. <laughs> Two, your elbows coming to the knees, that's all. No need to go more close. Ten times. Ready. Lie down. Check, you, check your back. The lower back should not arch. Try to make it flat, like a hollow body pose. Now, five fingers, interlace fingers on the back, or just place your hands, five fingers. Now, breathe out, go. Shh. Again, down. Leg straight down. Two, go. Elbows to the knees. Again, straight down. Three. Down. Four. Come on, come on, exhale. Inhale, leg straight. Exhale, bend. Inhale, exhale. Very good. Inhale, exhale. You see, if you dance. Okay, only four more. Come on, four more. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, one more, exhale, inhale, and relax. Oh. Take two breaths, we go to the next one. Big inhale, big exhale. Come on, towards the end, I'll give you a nice rest, relaxation. <laughs> there we go. Hug your knees, roll and sit down. Roll up. Yeah. Now, on your right elbow, come to the side like this, like me, like us. Look. Okay, both legs straight. Okay, this is for your obliques again. So make your obliques strong. Not only that, it makes your hips, your side of the body very healthy and strong. Now, you got to place the forearm and open the fingers, place the palm like that in front of you, your right hand. Good. Now from here, what do you do? You place the left hand on the ground. Now use obliques to lift both the legs. If you can't, one leg is fine. See, first try both the legs like this. See? Okay, if you can't, just one leg is fine. Just like that, that's fine. Bend the other knee like this. Those who can't do it. Okay, come down. Now, hip up. See the easy, I'm showing the easy option. You see the knee bend. You can see that, the knee bend. 
So you keep the knee bent like this, you see, and you come easier. Again, second time, up both legs or one leg. One, two, three, reach, reach, reach your leg. One, two, three, four, five. Again, hip up. One, two, three, four, five. Third time, reach. One, two, three, four, five. Hip up. One, two, three, four, five. Fourth time. Toes. One, two, three, four, five. Hip up. One, two, three, four, five. One more. One, two, three, four, five. Hip up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. On your elbow, elbow plank. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now we work on the rectus abdominis, the midsection. Okay. Now very important, tailbone back down. Squeeze the abs. You want to bring the hip to the rib, just imagine. And look slightly forward here, in front. So, yeah, I don't stress. Now, watch view. You stay here, or are you going to do like her? Right knee to the right elbow, breathe out, back. Left knee to the left, choice is yours. If you don't want to do this, stay like that, like her, like this. Like elbow plank. But others, go, right knee, breathe out, back. Left knee, go. Right weight, right knee, go. Left, one, two, back. Right, one, two, back. Left, one, two, back. Right, one, two, back. Left, one, two, back. Right, one, two, back. Left, one, two, back. Upper plank, weight. Come back to upper plank, weight here. Five, push, push, push. Four, push the floor with your hands round your back at the back and sit down. Now turn the other side. That means your left elbow like this. Almost there, almost there. Almost there. Give all you got. Don't give up. This is how you increase the stamina. You got to push a little bit. Otherwise your body always want to be lazy. Okay. Now elbow resting, forearm resting, five fingers resting of uh, your left hand. Now right hand on the ground here. Now get ready to lift both the legs or one leg. Choice is yours. Go. Up. One, two, three. Go. Hip up. Remember, hip up and rib up. One, two, three, four, five. Legs up. You can reach the leg like me if you want to. One, two, three, four, five. Hip up. And you no need to keep the hand, try it if you can. Like this, your hand on the hip. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hip up. One, two, three, four, five. Legs up. One, two, three, four, five. Hip up. One, two, three, four, five. Legs up. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Hip up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come. Come on, elbow plank. One more, one more. That's it. Yes. Come on, strongly hold. This one is very, very good. I recommend people to do elbow plank because it makes your bones strong. Joints strong. Now hold on there. Okay, if you want to do more, go ahead and do right knee to the elbow. One, two, back. Left knee to the elbow. One, two, back. Choice is yours. Right knee to the elbow. One, two, back. Left knee to the elbow. One, two, back. Right knee to the elbow. One, two, back. That's left knee to the elbow. One, two. The fourth one now. Right knee to the elbow. One, two. Left knee to the elbow. One, two. Last one. Last one. Last one. Fifth. Right knee to the elbow. One, two. Left knee to the elbow. One, two. Okay. Come to sphinx pose. Finish. Sphinx pose. Your elbow and forearm. Place them in line like this. Like a railway track. Now what you do is press the elbows into the ground, shoulders open, chest front. Now feel the stretch in the abdomen. Feel the stretch in the abdomen. Good, 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 good. Keep lifting. Now can you slowly bring your feet together? Very good. Now tuck your toes. That's it. Wait here. Now press the bar of the feet into the ground and knees off the ground but still no. Still spring sports. Yes. Now you just tighten in the back. 
Now keep knees off the ground. Long body, tight buttocks. You are like creating some tension. And, but you got to feel the stretch in the abdomen more and more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come to half dog, dropping the knees. Half dog is just drop the knees and just bring the head down. Half dog is very, very good to improve blood circulation to the brain, the frontal brain. You don't need to do full dog, even you just stay in this pose, it improves blood circulation. Right after you go, if you feel so tired and lack of energy, you just lie down like this, it helps. Improve circulation. And now slowly sit. Let's sit with the legs straight in front of you. Okay, only two postures because let me tell you something. If your glands are not functioning proper, no matter how much you can run for five kilometers, but you will not lose any fat. You need to keep this glands very healthy. Not hyper, not hypo. The same with everything. Okay. So we're going to do one exercise. Sorry, two exercises. Sorry, three exercises. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Ready? Now we not we just do like five breaths. But those who have a thyroid issues must do more longer, stay more longer. Okay. Now come to the middle of the mat. And by the way, woman during menstrual period, don't do this one. Okay. Now lie down back and take the legs overhead. Open your legs wide. That is also good for your hips, like a V. And shoulders broad. Broad shoulders. Very good. Long neck. By the way, this is very good also to relieve any tension in between the vertebral discs. Good for your nervous system. It releases anxiety, tension, depression. This is one of the posts we actually make people do those who are stressed, those who are depressed, those who are dull. Because if your thyroid is weak, you always feel dull. Like a chicken in the corner. You see, have you seen a chicken always in the corner? We call <laughs> okay. Chicken in the corner. That means no matter how much it eats, it always goes to the corner. So you don't want to be like that. Good. Now give me three more breaths. We're done. Three more breaths. Two. And roll one vertebra by one. Slowly come down, please. One vertebra, come down. You can bend your knees. You can bend your knees and slowly roll. Come back down. Okay, but it's resting. Wait. Hug your knees. Ah. This is where the pure blood and energy moving from the throat to the chest and chest to the throat, clearing all the toxins and tension out. When you're in the pose, you actually locked it. So there is no proper function happening. But when you release, that's where you flush out all the toxins. Now legs both straight in front of you, straight down on the ground. Now you got to use the hands by the side of the body and what you do, you press the elbows and the forearms to come up like, this, like me. You see that? Like us. Come up. You can see me? Hello. <laughs> okay. Now adjust your elbows a little bit like this. Now chest up more and more. Now you want to touch the head, the top of the head. The crown of the head to the ground. That's all. The crown of the head. You want to try to even bring the forehead to the ground. Try. Now the next step you need to do. Keep your legs straight. Toes pointing. Stretch it like a fish. This is called the fish pose. Now you slowly take hands off the ground. No elbows. And then place the hand on the thigh. The palms on the thigh and lift the chest up and up and your head back and back you can use the elbows though if you can't do this that's fine stay on the elbows three more breaths this is very good for pineal and the pituitary glands in the brain it also opens up your throat center energizes it it awakens the chakra anahata and vishuddha the throat center Anahata is the heart center, heart chakra. And now release. Slowly place your elbows, pressing palms. Rewind. Good. And slowly legs slide your part. Edges your buttocks, you come forward and come to Shavasana.
Now simply follow my voice. We're going to do a instant relaxation technique. And I would like you to remember this and try whenever you feel exhausted or tired, you try to do this technique. Because you most of the time this is due to mind. Your mind is everywhere. Run, running here, running there, running. So you don't have that energy. It depletes energy because your mind uses a lot of energy. So more than more than the body, your mind uses a lot of energy. So you should learn to bring it to stillness, calmness. That's where you can feel your energy off. So lie down, closed eyes. Gently close your eyes. Now watch your breath first. When you inhale, your navel rise. And when you exhale, your navel falls. Now watch this. This is called diaphragmatic breathing. This is the breathing you need to observe when you go to bed. Few minutes, you just focus on this breathing to give you a good night's sleep. Remember, when you inhale, only your abdomen rise. And when you exhale, your abdomen falls. This increases the quality of your sleep. Inhale, your navel rise, and exhale, your navel falls. Now, once you establish this breathing, by the way, please understand the air is not going into the stomach, it is actually filling your lungs completely. Only the diaphragm is moving down, that's where your stomach rises, like a balloon when you inhale. And when you exhale, actually that from moving towards the lungs to clean more carbon dioxide out of your system. Practice this breathing. Now, once you make this even, breathing evenly, inhaling softly, exhaling softly. Now simply follow my voice and repeat mentally with me, along with me. So your eyes are closed, soften and simply repeat with me, mentally. I relax my skull, I relax my face. I relax my ears, cheeks, mouth, and I relax my throat, my shoulders I relax, and my arms all the way down to the tip of my fingers. Relax. My chest, I relax. My abdomen, my lower abdomen, I relax. I relax my legs all the way down to my toes. Now I relax my buttocks. My lower back. My upper back. Back of the neck. top of the head. I relax. Now I bring my awareness to my breath. And I witness my breath entering my nostrils and leaving my nostrils. I simply witness
Turn your body right hand side, rest your head on your right arm, keep your eyes closed and slowly sit cross leg facing knees, bring your hands to the heart center. Together we chant Shanti Mantra to bring peace within us and around us. your eyes, open eyes slowly to the palms, bring hands to the heart center, namaste. I hope you all enjoyed the class and very soon I'm going to update on intermittent fasting and how you can work your body because your metabolism changes as you age. When you are 25, 30 is different, after 30 is totally different. <laughs> Anyway, we have all the answers. Yoga has amazing tools. Tools to transform your body, tools to transform your mind, even to shape up your body, how you like it. Because when you shape up, it's all about good. So you're trying to make your body very disciplined, very healthy. So choose anything, but stay in yoga and find the truth within yourself. That is actually the main meaning of yoga. So see you all in the next video. By the way, next class we're going to do balance, stretch and inversion. This is, by the way, if you wanted to do this one because you want to work on the core. <laughs> okay, so next class is on balance, stretch and inversion. Please be prepared. Try to be close to the wall and have blocks, two blocks with you and one yoga mat. But if you don't have blocks at home, you try to have thick books and get ready. See you next Saturday and you're going to love it because it's all for anti-aging, for nice stretching, improving elasticity of skin and also your muscles and making your joints very strong. Stay tuned. See you, with, see you all. Thank you very much for your time. Have a wonderful, joyful weekend.